fear and greed index. So we are at neutral when it comes to Bitcoins. On that quick scalp, I believe that we are going to bank our money here in the next 48 hours. Also here, the lower low, higher low, higher low, lose this level. We will most likely revisit 62,000, dollars Bitcoin moved into almost $64,000 exactly as we predicted it. And now, now I'm going to show you what is happening with Bitcoin's next move. Are we going down? Are we going up? Let's find out. Let's get into it. Thank you guys for tuning in here once again. I have crazy muscle pain from um, working out. I was really not sure to make a video, but then I said, you know what? I want to update you guys really quick here. So this might be a little bit shorter than usual. So let's directly dive into everything here. So here on the DXY, after the insane pump on Friday, we see now that we are potentially getting a topping formation here, but that will be only confirmed with tomorrow's candle moving to the downside. So we need to be a little bit more patient here. What is it? 10 hours ish and see if this current candle will be a signal for continuation to the upside or a reversal candle to the downside but I believe it will be uh, tomorrow a reversal candle to the downside uh, but don't forget we need a move below this downward sloping um, trend line here of that former bearish uh, pennant here in the best case scenario we come here down hard really quickly below this downward sloping trend line um, and then we can say, okay, this was just a massive, massive fake out um, over the last couple of days. And now we continue the trajectory um, uh, below 100 points. The CME chart, we did not actually create a CME gap, uh, which was good because that led to a pump to the upside to avoid to get a CME gap. Now we are cooling down a little bit, which is absolutely fine. There's no problem with that, but don't expect that we go back to like $60,000. And I will show you here in a moment why I believe that we're not going there. On the daily chart, first level that we need to hold here in the coming hours is the yellow dotted line at $62,900. As long as we are going to hold this level, expect continuation into the mid range of $64,000, $65,000 um, over the next couple of days. Lose this level and we will most likely revisit $62,000, $61,800 because he is also support. Bounce from here up, re, uh, retest $63,200 um, and then most likely uh, get continuation uh, to the upside. When we're going into the 12 hourly chart, so actually the current 12 hourly candle looks good again. We created here a wick in the previous uh, candle all the way up to $64,000. As I just said, the reason for that is the VPVR cluster that I warned you about. Remember what I said, guys, you can go back like the last four or five videos where I said, when we get up there, expect a rejection back to $62,800 approximately. That's exactly where we went. And now we are going back to the upside. But again, guys, a small warning here, Stochastic is topping out, but the MACD and the RSI are still bullish. And the price action is also still bullish, even though we are running here into a resistance cluster. So that could mean we still have enough juice left to reach here $64,700 before we get proper pullback, uh, most likely back into the current levels, which should act as support in conjunction with the VPVR cluster. And from there, we gain then the momentum uh, to get continuation into higher price levels, especially with the Elect being here almost around the corner in less than 30 days right now. Then here on this daily chart, you see uh, that the higher low, higher high is most likely now confirmed with having here, uh, so, sorry, actually down here, here the lower low, higher low, higher low here. Now we wait for another higher high because we had here um, a lower high, lower high, so but here then higher high compared to, sorry, here also higher high. So now we wait for another higher high and the next higher high needs to be higher than $66,500. It will be somewhere between 68, 67, 500, somewhere in between there, I expect the next higher high. So if you are in a current trade already or in any trade that I had given <clears throat> over the last couple of days, uh, then you're good, you can hold it. If you uh, want to trade Bitcoin um, 
more into the long run, then you can definitely hold it at least until sixty-eight thousand dollars here. Or let it call. Uh, let's call it midterm, midterm, because long term, uh, I would have different targets for that. Then um, the trade setup on the four hourly chart that I had given you is already playing out. You see here, I told you on the MDX algo gradient that price action was about to running hot, and that would mean that we get a move to the upside. Uh, I still believe that the <clears throat> Move will be only completed when we hit $64,800 or $65,000. And you can also see that here by the entry level being respected as support, uh, which is also an indication that uh, we are most likely getting continuation here to the upside um, over the next 48 hours, um, more or less. And um, yeah, so on that quick scalp, um, I believe that we are going to bank our money here in the next 48 hours. Also, the MDX Algo um, reactor indicator is starting to run hot here. You see when we are running here into this pinkish phase, we still get a red phase. And in the red phase, we are usually um, in the local top area from where we then correct back to the downside until we gain momentum. Uh, to go uh, back up. So we are not there yet, but it looks close, hence why I believe that around $64,700, $865,000 um, we are uh, going to get from there the first uh, proper pullback and um, consolidation before we get then a move here into higher levels. And guys, please go to the Bybit Competition World Series of Traders. We, we need only 10 10 more people to sign up to qualify. We still have 12 days left, but in three days, the competition already starts. So three days, guys, sign up there. You um, you still get some bonuses for signing up there right now. There is a link in the description for that. And also don't forget, uh, if you don't have a lot of money right now to trade, the best advice that I can give you is deposit $100 on Bybit and claim your $500 airdrop position on any of these coins, guys, on any of these coins. This promotion will not last forever. I had to ask Bybit a second time to get it, and I was really on my knees and asking them, please, 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 and begging them, give, it, give me this promotion again, at least for 30 days or something. So take advantage of that while it's still there, because once this is running out, it will not come back, guys. It will not come back, I'm pretty sure. So do it now while they're throwing around with free money with the link in the uh, pinned comment and in, in the description below. Here, you see now what I mean with continuation to the upside on the liquidation levels. The EMA ribbon is about to flip back into an uptrend we have a strong four hourly candle pushing to the upside. We have liquidation levels um, above us uh, for the um, shorters in the market, all the way up to $64,900. And then we are also already pretty close to the big resistance level at $65,800. Uh, somewhere in between here, we're definitely topping out, but I think there's only enough juice left to get to $65,000. And from there, we are rolling over. Maybe we get a, a small wick above it, but really quick, short lift and come straight back down here to like 63, 800, something like this. Also, the 50 moving average was reclaimed now as support. Also, really good sign here <coughs> uh, that we um, also keep this um, upwards momentum based on the short term, on the long term moving averages here. Then on the liquidation heat map, uh, let's look what has happened here over the last week. So you see here, this cluster, in my opinion, will be still targeted and afterwards we have to come down uh, to target the liquidity that's sitting below us uh, or liquidity that we're building up on the way up uh, so here you see also here's a lot of confluence to go all the way up at least to 64,500 64,800 dollars and get from there the turnaround because then we have taken out all the liquidity that was built up over the last week and also yeah over the last month. So if we tap here into $65,300, then I believe from there um, we would definitely get a turnaround. We need to cool down from there a little bit. Uh, but of course, the higher we go, the more shallow will be uh, the uh, correction that follows. Now, I was also having a look at the fear and greed index. So we are at neutral when it comes to Bitcoin. So there's uh, so much more momentum left overall. Uh, that is also something that I saw when I looked at the funding rates here over, over the last 24 hours and also the last um, 7 and 30 days. We are nowhere close to levels that we have been in the past. So, and you know, if we have negative funding rates, um, there's a lot of momentum still available for Bitcoin uh, to go a little bit higher until this flips uh, positive and then we need um, to have a look again. But for the moment, we are still looking good here. Then on the Bitcoin dominance, we are still hugging the 58% mark because if Bitcoin um, 
turns around and goes now to 65, 66,000 dollars, then also we are going to pump most likely back to 58.5%. Again, from there, I expect a pullback. We need to see what's going to happen there. But overall, expect by the end of this month that the dominance has then already turned around and is under 57% in my opinion. But maybe another three weeks that we need to wait for this. If you want to trade altcoins, guys, uh, also, don't forget Zoomex, amazing platform where I'm trading on. You still get a chance here to win twice per week, $500, a total of $1,000 that we give away every single week. You only need to sign up, deposit $100 for that. Uh, and you can also unlock up to $45,000 worth of uh, deposit bonuses um, once you have signed up here with the link and the pinned comment uh, below. When we are going into altcoins, Ethereum is still struggling with the EMA ribbon on the 12 hourly chart. Uh, you see this also on the RSI that we are going here sideways because we are running here into resistance. We tried earlier to break above this um, and failed, got rejected. Uh, if we can close today, even at the current level, I would consider this bullish. Um, because then most likely by tomorrow after tomorrow, we are going to get that move here above $2,550 and start consolidate here before we get then the big breakout uh, above the downward sloping trend line. So this is really close in my opinion. Uh, would I take a position here right now? Not really. I would look on a lower time frame, um, like the four hourly chart. So here I would maybe wait on a stochastic to turn around like this uh, to get another buy signal. It can happen already a little bit earlier. Uh, but we are here under major, major resistance. So either I would wait for a flip of the EMA ribbon that you see it's twisting, most likely here by tomorrow at some point on the four hourly chart, um, or the stochastic turning around, giving a buy signal, um, which would show us momentum is there to push higher. And also here, this downward sloping trend line being broken. So if we get a break above $2,500 with a four hourly close with a candle close above $2,500, that would be also a signal for me to enter this into $2,800 or $3,200. Uni is one of the coins that I had given you a week or two weeks ago, I can't really remember, uh, but I gave you this at $6 here, $6.73-ish, $6.67. Um, that was when I called it and said, get into it. Um, if you would have entered here, even if you would have round trip, you would be now in nice profits of 8%-ish, um, I think, 667. Oh, over 10% already, 10% profit already on this trade. Don't, uh, and don't forget, this is not our target, guys. That is not our target where this is going. So if you're in this trade already, amazing. If you are looking at and entering this, then you need to wait for a move above $7.66 with a one hourly or four hourly candle kind of close before I would enter this because the golden cross is still coming up here on, on the daily chart at some point. And um, once we're getting this, I expect that uni will be close to nine, nine fifty, something like this. And the golden cross is coming up at uh, some point this month. So it would be not a bad idea to enter this at uh, seven, 66. Now I would not enter this because we are pumping and you know guys we never chase pumps you know so we enter then either on the pullback or when we break major resistance which is here above us a pullback to like seven dollars would be the other point where I would look to enter this currently. But why did I want to show you this because when I look at SNX I get um, oh sorry this is Solana uh, okay let's talk about Solana quick before we go to the next coin so our trade is doing really well the underlying resistance is again support as we can currently see so also good level to enter here if you are not in Solana right now and you missed it um, and you tell yourself oh shit Alex told me to enter all the way down here and I did not do it so where should I enter now here at one hundred forty six. 147 is a good level to enter because the uh, stochastic is coming down, the RSI is turning around, and I believe that the MACD will give continuation um, since we flipped this now back uh, into support. And also this current candle, uh, if we get the next four hourly candle going here back to the upside, there's also then um, a continuation morning star pattern telling us that we are still ready to go um, all the way up here to $155 in the next 24, 48 hours, in my opinion. Um, any pullback into the box here, the underlying box from 143 to 147, see it as, as a gift uh, where you can add to positions um, or also 
um, open positions if you miss, for example, um, now a pullback to 147, but once you see the video, uh, we are a little bit lower, let's see, let's say we are at 145, enter from there. You know, you get a little bit more profit than when we go to the upside to 155 and $163. If you cannot use Bybit or, um, what is it, Bybit or Zoomax, guys, uh, because of your uh, geo restrictions, then use a decentralized platform, guys. Trade here on um, Alpha X, guys. Trade on Alpha X. Uh, there you can trade directly with your um, MetaMask uh, wallet, Trust Wallet, or any other decentralized wallet. Uh, go to AlphaX for that. There is a link in the description below. And um, there are still, I think, 15 uh, slots available. If you sign up, you get $100, guys. You know, But only for 15 people, we have this offer left. Go and take advantage of that before somebody else um, snatches the $100 from you, you know, and, and you can immediately go and trade with that here on that platform. And if you also join the Telegram group, guys, don't forget, I post their trades every single day and we have, over the, over the last couple of days, not one losing trade. So go and um, take advantage of all of this while it's still available, you know, so take the $100, rob these exchanges blind as long as they are throwing around with money. I cannot tell you this often enough because I would do the same if I would not have a lot of money. I would go to all the links that um, that I would find and take all the money, all the free money that, that, that I would get from these exchanges. Now, Rune. Rune had a really nice pump here to the upside into our first take profit point. So I take uh, took profit here, uh, just that you know, <clears throat> and I was scalping a little bit uh, on my end and took profit on the scalp on $5.15. So almost here at, at the top, I missed out like 1%, which is absolutely fine. Um, I still expect here over the next coming days, continuation above $5.23. Uh, if you're looking for an entry level, uh, let me have a look here on the 4 chart. Uh, I would potentially wait. Yeah, I would wait. There is a chance that we come back down under $5, under $5 back to the 50 moving average that will become your entry level. If we get a pullback to the 50 moving average, wherever the 50 moving average is on the four hourly chart, this becomes your entry, guys. This will become your entry. Or if we flip, let me put it this way, or you see the stochastic cooling down, price action consolidating in this resistance area here, and we are not breaking $5, then also when you see here the stochastic being below 50%, and we are still above $5, that also becomes your entry level to trade this all the way up to $6. For everybody else that's in this trade, I hope you took some profit here at $5.22. If not, take some profit right now, guys. Right now, not, don't close the position. Take some profit off the table, 25, 30, 40, 50%, and set your stop loss to your entry level because then you got paid already and the trade is absolutely risk-free for you. You know, so make sure of that. I want that you make money, guys. You know, I don't want that, uh, that you lose money because you round trip your profits and end up in the stop loss or something like this. You know, so that's not what we're doing here, guys. I'm here to help you to make money. So please set your stop loss above your entry level right now uh, at the minimum, you know, so and in the best case, you take some chips off the table with your stop loss being a little bit higher than your entry level and let this then play out. Now, SNX. So why do I want to uh, talk about SNX? Because it gives me uh, uni -y -um vibes uh, on, the, on the daily chart. So what you want to see here uh, is that we break above $1.53. Let me put a line in there. Once we are breaking above $1.53, I would uh, enter this because I believe that uh, here, so first of all, we are above the 50 moving average. The indicator is looking all extremely bullish on SNX. And I believe once we're breaking $1.53, we're going to see quick acceleration into $1.82 and potentially all the way up to $2.10. So that is a big, big move, guys, when you look at this here uh, from this level. So this is already a 20% move and higher is a 30 eight percent move so that is one of the next trade calls that i give you guys here um wait for one dollar fifty three and then we can trade potentially into the 200 moving average because also here in november and in november at some point we are most likely getting here our golden cross so here it shows end by december if we would keep that kind of angle but i think the angle will sharpen up here um to 
something like this, mid-November, I would say, mid to third week of November, we are going to get here the Golden Cross, and that will put SNX close to $2.73-ish, in my opinion. So also a good trade. If you want to make big money, then this is also a good long-term trade uh, to hold, but I would take profit here at $2.10 and then wait for um, a reclaim of the 200 moving average and most likely enter from here then again uh, with the compounded profits from this trade up here and then trade this into $3 and potentially all the way up uh, back to $5. And then also uh, Phantom. Phantom really, really strong. That is the coin that I'm also currently trading. Unfortunately, I was not fast enough to post it in the Telegram group for you guys. Um, but I'm in since 66 cents, 0.67 or something like this. So I'm not a massive profit here. I did not one reason why I did not post it is it was a little bit risky to enter at that level because we are also here currently at resistance. And the other point was um, that uh, it happened so fast, you know, so and then I fell asleep, forgot about it. Sorry, guys. But you should be in here since yesterday at 63.5 cents anyway. The next level for you to enter is around 72 cents uh, with that secondary setup that, that we have here. But I'm playing it currently all the way up to 81 cents. Because also here, look at the indicators, extremely bullish. MACD about to print a buy signal uh, on the 12-hourly chart. Stochastic pointing up, uh, RSI pointing up. Candle, uh, current 12-hourly candle pushing strong back to the upside with a continuation candlestick pattern that we are currently seeing. So uh, here also on, on the daily, <coughs> we're just getting started. This uh, this can, by tomorrow, after tomorrow, can already explode here massively to the upside. That is uh, one of the other reasons why I entered this here at these uh, current levels because I have only 5x leverage on that. Really hard to get liquidated on 5x uh, leverage on Phantom. Uh, hence why I thought it was worth the risk for me. And guys, that's it already for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. That was a quick one. Uh, don't forget, smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you with more money tomorrow.